Hello, everyone. So welcome to October. It's the fourth quarter, and we've got three more months left of 2019, and then we're going to be entering a new decade. Who's excited to, um, to start next year, but who, better yet, it's October, and as we're wrapping up 2019, I you know, put a post today in my group about, um, and I asked you some questions. Hi, Leslie, how are you? Hi, Courtney, oh wow, so great to see both of you, or actually see that you're both on, thank you for tuning in. So we're, we're starting our fourth quarter, and I, I shared a post this morning, and I asked some questions that, that you can answer on your own time, or if you'd like to share in the group, you know, just kind of revisit the year and, you know, focusing on what did you accomplish this year so far? And write that down. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. This is awesome. So what did you accomplish? And, and really write down what are some of your accomplishments that you set out at the beginning of the year? And what did you enjoy? And here's a question that I wanted to ask you. What did you enjoy the most that you've done this year? And what didn't you enjoy? So let me just share a little bit about, for me, what I don't enjoy is always thinking about social media, posting, content creating, writing the content. For me, that is something I don't enjoy doing. Now, I'm doing it. I love doing Facebook Lives like this. I like engaging with people, so I like doing the webinars. I like presenting in front of people, and that's one of the things that I enjoy doing is being in front of people, sharing. So that's really what I enjoy. So when you look back at your year, what are some things that you don't enjoy doing? Can you delegate any of it? And that's what I'm working on for myself. So fourth quarter, I'm working on how can I delegate? Okay, those areas that you don't enjoy because you really want to focus on your zone of brilliance. You know, what are the areas that you just shine and you just get so like excited and you're filled with fire. You're on fire when you are doing that thing that you're in your element. Okay, so you get that whole feeling. So focus on what is it that you enjoy. Well, thanks, Stephanie. Uh, I just love being in front of people. I love speaking. I love presenting. I love teaching. And, and I love the one-on-one, -on -one, but I really um, enjoy the speaking. So that's my area that I really enjoy. And I'm speaking this coming Thursday at the Hamden Library on Create the Career You Love. So it's going to be at 1030. It's free to attend. If you know anyone, pass them on. Send them on to the Hamden Library this Thursday, October 3rd at 1030. And it'll be a great session, about an hour and a half just to learn how they can create a career that they love. Hi, Diane. I'm so glad to see all of these people tuning in. So as you're wrapping up the year, you know, what have you accomplished? And if there's something that you haven't accomplished, don't beat yourself up. Celebrate. You know, give yourself a pat on the back on what you've done. And it could be something small. It could be a, a couple of things that are small that you've done. Celebrate them. You know, every day celebrate the little things that you've done. Now, something that I said at the beginning of the year is that I wanted to publish my first book by the end of this year. It's not looking like it's going to be done, but I've moved towards it. I made progress that I had it edited. I did the first draft. I, you know, I had an editor do it. So it looks like it's going to be probably in first quarter of 2020. So it's okay. You know, I set up that goal. And if it's not finished, it's okay. But I worked on other things. So don't beat yourself up. You know, it's really, you know, our mindset here. And, you know, Stephanie, she focuses on that a lot. You know, shifting our mindset. It's okay if something didn't get done. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be so self-critical um, with yourself because it's okay that you didn't. And also, when you look at the fourth quarter, what visualize your fourth quarter. How would you like it to look like? What is it that it looks like? And really tap into the senses. Tap into the experience you'd like to have. If, if it's something like you want to go away, you don't want to go to a retreat, you want to do some self-care, pampering, anything. 
really feel it. What is it? What does it look like? You know, really create a vision for it because that's something that when you can see it, you can manifest it. Okay. But of course you have to always take action. I always say this, that you can put every, anything on a board, create a vision board, put pictures, but what is the action you're taking? What is the process that you are embracing? You know, what is your process in other words? So, so who would like to, anybody who's on right now, what are you um, working on right now for the fourth quarter? I'd love to get your input on this um, because I really would love to know what are you guys working on, women, guys working on for the next quarter. This is a lot of activity. We've got the holidays coming, which is very exciting. So how can you um, market your business with the holidays? You know, think of some great ideas to market your business with the holidays. Think of some cash injection items, quick cash injection items. What can you do that will inject some quick cash in your business? What can you offer your clients that will bring you that, that cash? You know, we all, you know, with the holidays coming, we need this extra cash to spend or to enjoy for ourselves or our family to, to give, you know. And so think of ways that you can really get creative. In other words, it's get creative with your marketing, get creative with what is it that you want to offer. I'm going to be offering a goal setting vision board workshop on December 7th. It's going to be in the New Haven area. So stay tuned for the details. And it's going to be all around reviewing the year, setting goals for 2020, creating a vision board for you for your for 2020. What is it that you want to bring in? So stay tuned for more details. I will be offering that uh, on December 7th. It is a Saturday from 9 to 2 in New Haven. And it's going to be uh, at a location that I always host my workshops. So stay tuned for that. But you know, so just, you know, really uh, just to wrap up here today is really write down some things that you've accomplished and you'll be amazed when you write down what you've accomplished, you've done more than you think you've done because we're so conditioned to keep going, keep going, keep going that we just don't step back, rest, pause, reflect, evaluate what we've done. And so take a moment and really look at what you've done. And I'm going to tell you, I'll bet you've done more than you think you may have done. You know, the year has gone by really quickly. I don't know about you, but the summer just rushed by and it's, I can't believe it's already October and we're already in the fourth quarter of 2019, 2019 or 2019. And there's a lot more to do. And I'm excited because this was my first full year as an entrepreneur and learned some great things about myself and the business and great people that I connected with, expanded my network and did a, uh, more speaking gigs than I um, thought I would do and more to come. So really, you know, just reflect on your accomplishments and, you know, but, and really, Celebrate what is it that you loved doing and what don't you like to do that you want to delegate. Let it go. Give it to someone else who is an expert in that area. So I want to tune in with you today that let's get rocking with the fourth quarter of 2019. And I'd love to get your thoughts on what are, do you have going. And if you can see my board in the back, here behind me, that's a board that, you know, I got to thank Kim Kasparian, who she did a challenge this year on overwhelm. And it's something that I've been using. And it's a, it's a way to organize your tasks. I have today, tomorrow, and everything on the right side there is action. Things that I want to do. And they are fun things. They are personal and business things. They're not just business. It's your whole life together. And I love Post-its. I love colored Post-its. So this is a tool that has helped me to stay organized. And I have to thank Kim for this because um, it really keeps me organized because I was really cluttered on my desk. And now this really helps me. So stay tuned for other videos to come. 
And I hope that all of you have an amazing day. Would love to get your thoughts. And this is Tina Kadish of Life is Ideal. Definitely visit my website, https www.lifeisideal.com. Get your free offer, uh, my seven steps. I also offer weekly webinars. So my October schedule, I posted it in the group. Starting on Wednesday, October 9th, it is on Wednesdays this month. I changed the day of the week. And it's all about eliminating entrepreneurial fear to freedom. So I hope that you can join us on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. on Zoom. So until next time, I hope that you all have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye, Diane. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, everybody who tuned in.